We'll can continue back here to our side baggage compartment. And we'll inspect the contents of the left-hand baggage compartment. Make sure we know what's in there and if there's anything loose that we secure it down. We'll close the door and make sure that it is secure. Now we'll come up here to the main gearbox cowling. We'll open up the Hartwell fasteners on the cowling. And then open it up. There's a rod inside here that is used to secure the cowling open. And we'll take a look at our main gearbox compartment. We'll start with just a general condition check of the compartment. And we'll start at the bottom of the transmission at the dog bone. We want to start off by looking at these four laminated pads. We'll rub our finger across all four of them and make sure that there's not any bulging on the rubber. We're also going to look here at this fitting, make sure that it is flat across here and down here to make sure that these haven't loosened up on us at all. Right above the dog bone attachment is our chip detector for our sump. Right next to that, we have our temperature switch for our main gearbox temperature light. You want to make sure that these are secure and that the wires are connected. We'll continue back here and make sure that the diaper pin is attached to the rotor brake cable to the rotor brake. You're going to notice here that we have our sight glass. You want to make sure that there is oil present in that glass at the proper level. We'll come back and look at the attachment point for the fuel shutoff valve here. We'll make sure that the Richard cable is attached to the fuel shutoff valve. This is the cable that's attached to the fuel shutoff valve in your cockpit. We wanna make sure that there's a diaper pin or safety wire on here to make sure that this cable is secured to the valve itself.